Welcome back to another episode of Cycling the Cities. Um, today I'm just doing a vlog before I go out. This is a this is a biking and blabbing episode two. I don't know about this cycling around Gallifrey thing if that's gonna stay. I'll probably stay once the show comes back, or if I have anything to talk about in terms of the show. But anyways, um, this episode I'm just gonna talk about what I've been up to. Um, I'm gonna go out and and. Uh, some more insects. At some point, I want to actually show you guys some insects that I find around the city and whatnot. But for right now, for the purpose of this vlog, we're just gonna continue cycling around. Um, let's see. Oh, tonight I'm doing a comic book club thing. That'll be kind of fun. I might report back about that on here later. Um, I did a chalk festival thing this weekend, the first time doing that. That was pretty exciting. It was the first time they had this sort of chalk art element to their... It wasn't really a chalk art festival, but it was a, a book festival. And it was my first time doing the chalk art, or doing chalk art, you know, sort of in a festival setting without it being, you know, in a public setting without it being around my, my neighborhood. Which was interesting because I learned a couple of things. One of them being that I uh, uh, I did a background. I'd never done a background before, and I learned a lot about about the the art of sidewalk chalk. And um, it was fun. It was a lot of work. I started about like at 8:45 and got done a little after three. But it was a hell of a lot of work. They didn't allow us to use temper, which I didn't really know what that was. Um, until I got there, which was, it was like, it's like a background spray paint. And I had no idea that that was a thing. But the idea is it's, it's easier than just doing it with chalk because it saves time and everything and makes the background look better. But I just did my piece in, all in chalk. Didn't really, didn't really care about the temper thing because I didn't know what it was. Didn't really plan on using it. So I just... Did what I was originally had I, I originally had planned. If I, you know, next time when I do it again, I'm going to uh, I'm going to scale it out. I didn't really scale it out. I didn't really give myself enough time. I sort of applied late because they were looking for more applicants, and I I should have scaled it out. I should have tested the design out on the sidewalk. Not so much if I could complete the design. I chose something cartoonish for simplicity reasons that way I wasn't dealing with realism and things like that but um, I should have scaled it out and figured out okay how big is this a woman I was uh, drawing next to she explained to me that you take an image and you, you basically enlarge the image you take it to a special printer and that will give you the scale of how of what your actual piece should be on the sidewalk so you know beforehand because I was just working with a small scale and I was you know enlarging it and making sure when I enlarged it that it it looked proportional it came out okay it wasn't I'm not really I'm thrilled that I got it finished but I'm not like you know oh my god that's my best work it, it came out the way it came out and it was definitely a uh, learning curve thing. The woman next to me was really nice to me about how it came out. I mean, she was she was nice to me the entire day. She she told me at the end, she said, you did that the hard way. You, you did all that in chalk. You blended everything. And she was like a lot of other people. She didn't do a background because of the temper thing. She wasn't going to sit there and do a background in chalk. But like I said, I didn't know. And I just did what I planned on doing begin with. So that was Saturday and I took a picture of it, posted it on Facebook and all that stuff. Um, so anyways, that was that was a fun thing. And then I went to see Marco Benevento at the Hollywood Arts Park and that was really exciting. Completely different from what I'd seen him do in Joe Russo's Almost Dead. Very sort of like Somebody compared it to like 60s 
trippy rock, but I really thought it had like a new wave thing. I loved his bass player. His bass player was fantastic. She really added, she really added a lot of funk flavor to what he was doing. Um, the drummer was great too. The whole trio was incredible. I'd see him again in a heartbeat. They were just, and he writes some really cool stuff. They ended with an in excess tune, which was kind of cool. Um, I'm not quite familiar with NXS. I should be more familiar with them, but I'm not. Um, they're an Australian band. Basically what I know about them is they're an Australian band and they stopped being a band because their lead singer, Michael Hunter, unfortunately committed suicide. They're, they're an 80s band, though. Um, so that's that was Saturday. Sunday, nothing much went on. I finally got to watch, you know, I finally watched The Walking Dead on original time because there was no who so that was that was pretty good but I mean I still kind of I don't know it was a good episode Sunday I'm not disappointed in Sunday's episode at all the first two episodes are I like episode one a lot and there's parts in episode two I really like like I love the beta stuff in episode, well I shouldn't say episode two I like first two episodes of the back half so nine and ten um episode ten I love all the beta stuff where he's coming up the stairs and how they they decided to, again, it's a direction thing. It's not, this is the thing with the show. It's like I watch it and I'm just like, eh, you know. But then I, you know, I always think of it in the back, in the back of my head, it's eh. And then if you look at it from a direction standpoint, it's really well put together. You know, I love the, I love the natural sound that they used when Beta comes up the stairs. You can hear the creaky of the stairs in Alexandria. Um, rather in Rick's house. You can, you know, just all that stuff is well, well directed. And all the stuff in the cave is well directed. So it's, you know, it's just one of these things. But it is what it is. Um, so that was Sunday. And then Monday, nothing much. So that's, that's what's been going on this past week. I'd do a chalk festival again, but it'll be a while. Like, you know, maybe two or three years. I really need to start, if I'm gonna really get, you know, get passionate about it, I would need to literally sit on my, sit outside my driveway for days on end and just keep doing different pieces and really playing with the medium a lot. But I don't think I'm quite, don't think my passion for that medium is quite there yet. I like it, it's cool, I, gotta, I appreciate it. There's people that really know what they're they're doing in that medium, but for me to be an artist in that medium, I don't know if I really have a passion to be an artist in that medium. I think I, I think the next time I might do something is if I apply for another fest and then just scale that out properly. So the thing about it is, is ironically, all the, all the Bob Ross stuff really helped and I think that the truth about drawing, you know, makes you a better painter is true because I was surprised at how how it came out, even though it's not my best. I'm surprised at like the forms and everything how they came out. And I think that's all due to my drawing because I understand proportion from drawing more than I do painting. And it, it really, I think if I had just been a painter and did it, I think it would have been a lot more difficult than if I was, you know. And I was doing a lot of, you know, the, all that stuff, that Ben Stahl stuff that I watched um, a few months back, all that stuff really came into play. Like, my instincts were key in completing the piece. So, anyways, that's me rambling on about art, my little biking and blabbing episode two. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to click the subscribe button below if you like these silly little videos. Uh, this is episode two. Next week we'll be back with episode three, I guess, because, like I said, there's no who. This is pretty much just whatever I feel like talking about in terms of my life or whatever. Um, I might, I'll probably talk about the, uh, the club I'm going to tonight in next week's video. But anyways, thanks for watching. Have a good day, everybody.